cathedral than shop hymns I found God through bebop inner sleeves all had the print I could buy when I was skinned holy water for my ears a beacon in my teenage years first editions curios funky library desert rose always amaze me home from home Who turned the pages back? Say la vie, I'm all right, Jack. Who put culture in the hands of a tick box salesman? Who gave you the right to turn out the light? Profiting from secret schemes. How did you get into doing room tattoos? Um, well, I just got into doing tattoos generally because someone did one on me almost 10 years ago now. And I just realised how easy it was. And I used to carry a sewing needle and a pot of Indian ink around in my backpack, loose. How many tattoos have you got, Paul? At the moment, yeah. zero. Just, you know, get to a certain point in the night and we'd all tattoo each other. And then, I remember I got one by someone and she'd had like proper needles and proper ink and I was like, okay, you can do this a little bit better. How can you have resisted all this time having a tattoo? Because I had mates who had terrible tattoos. My boyfriend once tried to count and it was like 70 or something. But it depends if you count, you know, are we counting all these individually or is that just a hand? And how did you end up here today in your flat about to get ruined by Mr. Miller? For the windmill because of the pandemic. It's really little, sort of stupid ones. So it's an auction prize, the lovely La and Beth uh, set up an auction to transport the windmill and there was a, a prize to have a tattoo done by Mr. Miller, whose music I like. My mum's always been into runes um, and we've always kind of picked them together and I thought it would work well for this kind of tattoo because it's it means that it's limited what someone gets to the auction. I don't want to just say a tattoo. They're relatively sort of simple kind of, sort of symbols, you know, so they're not too strenuous to do. And they're, and, you know, they're meaningful. And they're cool and they're Viking. The funny thing is, one of the best rooms to get the blank room, but that doesn't really work with our plan. Oh God, I can say I got that on the other one. See what you get. Just hold, hold the bag, have a look, feel, and think, and then tip one out. And the way you lay it is actually quite important to the reading you get. Let's just see what your reading is for today. You don't have to get it tattooed. So you've got opening reversed. Opening reversed. I've got a tattoo that means closing. Expect a darkening of the light in some situation or relationship. Oh, this is great. A friendship may be dying, a partnership, a marriage, some aspect of yourself that is no longer appropriate or valid. Go to something interesting, like that one's cool, but if you don't want to do it, do that. Oh, you could draw it. <laughs> It's really painful, just let me know and I'll try and go a bit more gentle. I think it's the anticipation of these things, isn't it?
I think that's about the right level of impact I was looking for. Yeah? Yeah, it doesn't look like I did it. No. Which is fantastic. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling very well. Yeah. Have you fine. got any like endorphins from the pain? <laughs> so you go out? Maybe. I always get a little rush. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, they, they pay their eyes. Well, they do. Ah, oh, it looks great. That looks amazing. That looks alright, doesn't it? That's yeah. Cool. We're in now. Cool. I'm still up for another fucking whiskey sour, right? Yeah. Now that you've had a tattoo, do you feel like the floodgates might open? You know what? There might be another one on the horizon. The memory 